Hello NEET PG aspirants. So you are thinking about taking forensic medicine as your PG branch. So let me give you a sneak peek into my three years of residency journey. So I started my residency in June 2020. That was in the middle of the COVID. And believe it or not, I hadn't seen a single autopsy during my MBBS course. So when I inquired in the department after joining, I found out that there were only three other people in the department besides me. One was the HOD, one was the assistant professor and another person was a medical officer. So I was the only JR in the department. My duty hours were from 10 to 5 but sometimes I had to stay till 7 or 8 pm depending upon the autopsies. Every day there were new cases of accidents, suicides, homicides or hospital deaths. Over those three years, I conducted more than 2000 autopsies and observed countless others. Every case was a lesson in itself. We also had to deal with some high profile cases. In some cases, National Investigation Agency, Anti-Terrorism Squad, Crime Investigation Department, Detection Crime Branch were involved. We also had to give evidence in the court in various homicide and assault cases. We helped victims getting justice even after they were dead. And it's a different kind of reward that comes only with this field. Somewhere in the madness, I started sharing my residency journey on social media and that became a great outlet. So balancing work with social media actually kept me motivated and helped connect with others in the medical field. So for those of you who is considering forensic medicine, yes, it is an atypical branch, but it is rewarding in ways that you won't find in other specialties. You are not just a doctor, you are a part of justice system. You are giving voice to those who can't speak. If that sounds like you, you are welcome to this field.